talking a bit, the feelers. So we're moving from the actors to the feelers in the Connect system. And I'm really excited to be sharing this one with you today because this one is the most fun loving of all the personas. This is the otter. And so we'll be talking about that today. Now, if you've watched the other ones, you might already know about the importance of communication and miscommunication in the workplace. And uh, so we'll just jump right into it and I'll just review that a little bit. Today we're talking about the Connect system, which is a part of the Sonos Austin system, where it deals with effective communication and effective sales, simple sales system. So in order to be able to sell to people and to connect with people so that you can build your ideal little customers, then the Connect system is how you do it. And I'll show you that. We'll get right into it. The Connect system. Yay! <laughs> so... All right, so the first bit is a bit miscommunication, and we're just reviewing this from the other two sessions. 86% um, of miscommunication is the main cause of workplace failures. Oh, it's hard to believe, but that's really the case. And uh, I've seen it happen with many clients in, in my own work, and then I've heard about it in case studies with, with different things with IT and marketing and things like that. So uh, if you really get into it, you do the research yourself, you'll see that that's the case. And some cases even more. Now, 28% of miscommunication is the main cause of workplace delays. I really believe that's higher than that, but uh, that's just what the statistics show for expert market statistics on 9 March, 2023. 97% uh, of miscommunication affects your everyday tasks and your everyday life, whether it's email or messages or letters, or just uh, ringing somebody up on the phone, or working with coworkers, even your uh, personal assistant, that can really cause delays on effect of the issue. You're like, hey, I want you to take care of this. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, depending on how well they know you, they might know. But uh, an example of that might be uh, in war, where um, you might take uh, prisoners, and so you take prisoners, and the lieutenant tells the the sergeant, you know, how I want you to take care of the prisoners. Well, what does that mean? You know, really, you know, like, what does it mean take care of the prisoners? Like, protect them, keep them secure, or, you know, kill them off, you know, in the worst case scenario, depending on the type of army that it is. The estimated cost of uh, the miscommunication in the workplace for a, a company that has 100 employees or less is about 420000 a year and this is in dollars because it's uh, american statistics here but worldwide it's 37 billion dollars and that's estimated in u.s dollars there so it's an it's an important thing i mean think in your own life where you've had trouble with communication or miscommunication so anyway now how do you communicate there are three types of people in the world um <laughs> as far as communication and that are the actors, which are 32%. Feelers, who feel it in the heart first. They're going to feel first and then think or act, act or feel or think. Uh, it's 45%. And thinkers, which are 23% of the population. So there are actually seven personas underneath those three categories. And so these are the horse and the beaver. And they are uh, the under the actors the otter and the collie are under the feelers and then the lion the eagle and the owl personas are all under the thinkers so those are the personas today we're talking about the otter so now how do you connect well everyone has all seven personas at some different levels and intensities so people tend to prefer one or two over the other so that's how you you focus in on those and then you go through their filter to meet the need now no persona is any better than any other but that's the key is you identify which persona they happen to be using at the time in that situation and then you go through their filter to meet the need and the filter is the hidden question and the need is what they need from others and it's a hidden need so uh that's what they're looking for. They want that question answered and they want that need fulfilled. And if you do those two things, then you're connecting with that person. So now again, the three types of people, we have feelers 
45% of the population are feelers. They approach life through feeling emotions first. I'll feel it in here. Like uh, the film Rio, which was the animated one about the parrot in Brazil, right? I was like, you've got to feel it in here. Right? So that's what feelers feel it in here all the time. And it's hard for them to not personalize things. So they're going to feel first and then act or think or think or act. So um, they also communicate through feelings. So it's important for them to know that you uh, appreciate their feelings and understand them because they're going to have the emotive, uh, emotive motivation. On try saying that three times real fast. So, all right. So now the connect system, the otters. All right. They're the first ones. 13% of people in the population are otters. And these are the fun loving people, the life of the party. They're natural networkers. And in the traditional sense of networking, we'll take somebody over here and go like, hey, you know, you need to meet my friend so and so. And then at the party or something, they'll connect you with the other person over here and say, hi, you know, this is so-and-so, and this person does this and that, and you two need to get together. And what do they get out of it? Just the satisfaction of networking. And uh, so they're really people-oriented, and they're really nice to have on your team because they can be your face person, your friend person, your sales person. Um, now, the way they sell, you know, they're going to be selling with the funnel system. They give you all the big spiel and everything. Maybe you got to watch that they don't exaggerate on it, but then they're going to get the excitement of it. So they're really great for uh, human resources, for training and things like that. So uh, they love to connect with people. So they're natural networkers and they love to connect. So their uh, hidden question is, are we communicating? Are we are we communicating here? Are we on the same wavelength? Or can you feel it? You know, that's the kind of people these are. And they want to make sure that we have a connection and they like that verbal affirmation. I, that was a good job. I really like how you gave that presentation last week at the training or whatever. Like, oh, you did a really good job. You know, like that verbal pat on the back, then that motivates them. That just gets them really excited. And that's their character strength is, is enthusiasm. So that's the real exciting bet is, is they're always enthusiastic. I mean, it can be the most boring business meeting and they'll find a way to make it fun. So these are the fun people. They're always after the crack and crack is the Irish word for fun, C-R-A-I-T-C, crack. <laughs> so just so you know, it's not that other kind of crack. But anyway, so they like to be really inclusive. They want to include people. If they see someone over in the corner not participating, they try to get them included in the, in the thing. Uh, they don't like to leave anyone out. They're very intuitive. They feel it. And they go like, hey, has, have you talked to so-and-so today? They seem to be really under stress. And like nobody else notices it. And so then they might go over and go like, hey, I, I noticed that you're feeling kind of stressed today. What's up? And well, there you go. See, so they 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 just lock into it. And they're like, you know, you're the only person at the whole workplace that noticed it. Well, that's the, the otter persona. They're going to lock in on that and, and be in teeth of the, what's going on. What's the hidden feelings underneath of people? Even if those people are using different persona and they don't know how they feel, the the otter persona person will be in teeth on it and feel it. So now their attributes is they're very creative. They're very colorful. They're very flexible because, you know, you can change it at a moment's notice and, and they'll run with it. Um, be enthusiastic about it too and they're very joyful and have a lot of optimism so they're very optimistic about things so if you have a, a glass half fill half empty thing it's always more than half full even if it isn't so in their mind you know they'll see it that way so these are great people to have around and splendid people to have on your team uh, depending especially on what you're doing now if you're selling to an otter persona they're really easy to sell to because they like that funnel thing. They like to hear all the, the spiel. They'll let you give your whole spiel and even give you encouragement, maybe even some tips on on, on how to improve next time, you know, like, hey, when you talk to somebody else. But uh, remember that they're people oriented. So you want to be inclusive with the people and, and tell them how it's going to help them, their team, their company and uh, make everyone look good and be uh, excited and motivated. So they really like that. They like the verbal praise and feedback. So uh, you want to be giving them like, 
uh, asking for that interaction in the in the presentation. Like, how many of you know, like, so you're giving a presentation, like, how many of you have ever felt like, the, you know, like, whatever, okay? So you're asking, like, that feedback. You're getting a lot of feedback. Ask a lot of questions. I love that interaction, that verbal interaction on the feedback and things like that. Uh, two-way communication. They don't like to sit there and hear a teacher teach for, for a long time without some kind of interaction or feedback or asking questions. They really like that. They do active listening. So they might even stop you in your presentation. Oh, no, wait, let me make sure that I understand this correctly. You're saying what I hear you saying. They'll, they'll be that active listening type person. And What's really fun is they enjoy mixing work with pleasure. So, you know, you can go out for lunch and meetings, they'll do groups. They like to play games in the office, uh, games and fun competitions. You know, they're going to have the, the secret Santa thing organized and, and all sorts of things like that. And they love to be the life of the party at, at, the, at the events and party. So uh, I like for them to be there. And uh, once they get there, uh, the party will liven up no matter how, how many lulls you've had before or how dead it may seem, they'll get it going. Now, they don't like it if you ghost them. Because remember, the hidden need is communication and affirmation. Um, and so, right, so they need to have that feedback, whether it's it's verbal or email or or text message. It's just a wee text message. And that's all it takes that, that you're connecting. You might have to do a lot of touches. So if you're if you're selling to an other person, you want to have a lot of touches back and and a good uh, customer journey for these people because they want to have fun and they want to be included and in things. So um, they prefer follow up, really strong follow up. So if you have any lack of follow up, like if you ghost them or you say, "Hey, I'll get back with you next week," and it's a cookie crumb promise. Uh, easily made and easily broken, then uh, they'll they'll be they'll remember that and they'll say like, you know that person's not very reliable. They don't really they don't really connect or care. You know we don't we don't we walk on the same wavelength here or whatever. So uh, you want to make sure that you do good follow up with these people and uh, keep touching base with them a, a, a lot of several times. You know often um, they prefer fun connections and lots of communication, and so the Kiss for this one is kiffs, K-I-F-S, keep it fun and supportive. So you need that verbal support and communication with it, but they like to have a lot of fun. So, you know, bring them candy or flowers or something when you're talking, depending on the person, you know, and just make it a lot of fun, like bring, you know, office toys or something like that, or, you know, think geek or something. <laughs> so depending on who you're, who, you know, whether they're the head of a department or or whatever, um, that that's how you can talk to them. So anyway, that's a uh, a wee bit of the the fun otter persona in a nutshell. And if you'd like to know more, I have a special offer for you. You can email me at info at freedomsarsha.com or direct message me on Facebook at Freedom Search International or put a comment in the comments here when I put this on Facebook or on the comments on YouTube. So anyway, look forward to hearing from you, freedomsersha.com, freedomsersha.ie, and freedomsersha.ee. Hey, Sisha here again, coming to you from the top of Ireland, and I wanted to extend a special invitation to you. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video and the other videos if you've been watching them. If you haven't, take a look at them also. And uh, I want to invite you to get on a call with me and find out how I can help you with this. Connect with your super ideal little customer, your, your silk. Those are the people that you really want to get. And also how to do better marketing or sales um, in, your, in your field or your business. Um, that's just especially with um, small businesses and entrepreneurs as uh, who I'm working with now, uh, women in business, people starting out, maybe you've been laid off and you want to do it, you make your side hustle your, your business money. So I've been doing this for years with major corporations and government agencies all over the world. And um, now I, the last year or so, I've been doing this on my own and uh, helping people uh, in small companies uh, improve their sales and achieve their freedom-based lifestyle, which is the whole point of my business, Freedom Search International. So if you'd like to know more, just email me at info at freedomsearch.com 
uh, freedomsearcher.com and scroll down to the bottom of the page and fill out the form and I'll get back with you straight away. Also, if you fill out that form, you'll have access to the workbooks for these um, videos on the Connect system and some of the other free resources that are available from freedomsearcher.com from me. So um, anyway, I look forward to hearing from you. Again, it's Freedom Searcher International, freedomsearcher.com and info at freedomsearcher.com. So have a splendid week. Tinega Falls, Slana Nash.